This is the unboxing, I guess you could call it, of my Philips Norelco Multi Groom 7000. It does come in a pretty nice box for gift wrapping, yada yada. You do have to be careful when you start pulling this stuff out because it pretty much just falls out of the box. But it does come with a wide range of uh, hair shaving attachments. And then the, actually the thinner ones are beard trimming attachments. Comes with like four to five of each of those, little brush. And it does have some specialty trimmers. It comes with the nose trimmer. Um, it says uh, full size hair trimmer. It's still a little thin. It says extra wide hair trimmer. But uh, as you can see, it's really not that much wider, so I'm probably not even going to use that. And it does come with the precision shaver with your face. So I'm a little excited about that. I think that's a problem with one of the all-in-one shavers. They don't really shave your face too good. And then here's a really extra thin trimmer. Let's see what that one's for real quick. Here in the instructions. Looks like it is called a precision trimmer or whatever that's for. I guess uh, I'm not too serious about shaving, although I do shave a lot. But So now I'm going to go to the uh, live shave do my face head and body just to show you how good it works okay so these do just pop out really easy that's a normal hair trimmer that was on it so you can kind of eyeball the back of this to tell which way the other ones go in this wide part goes in towards the back here so this one must go in this way so yeah simple as that there's the face trimmer i'm going to try first because i think that'll be what separates this from most of the other all-in-one trimmers. It's a little slow, but it is trimming really close, so it looks to me like, I just want to see, there's not a really big space for the hair, but I do have some pretty thick stubble, but it's doing all right. <clears throat> I'm just going to check it again and see how much hair is getting trapped. Um, it is doing a really good job with the uh, face trimmer though, which most of the, like the Phillips one blade and whatnot, they just don't really <laughs> shave your head close enough. But, uh,
All right, so it is getting really bogged down on my neck. Um, I do have some thick stubble, but I'm gonna finish shaving with probably my uh, razor handle. I like the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Power, but uh, here for a while I've been using the Gillette Exfoliating Blade Razor. It's got, oh, one, two, three, four, five blades. They're pretty flexible. And uh, I've had it for months now. I haven't even replaced the blade on it. So I'm gonna finish shaving with that one, so I'll have to say the uh, face shaver. Um, if your stubble is just, if you shave with it every day, it'll work fine, but mine's just too thick, so it did pass the test as far as shaving every day, but like I said, I'm going to finish shaving my face with my, uh, hand razor, and then I'll move on to probably shaving my head. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unplug it to shave my head, because it says you only need five minutes of charging for one trimming. I think it said it takes an hour to charge and then it lasts for five hours or three hours to charge the first time lasts for five hours after that again I'm just gonna see if I can pop this off easy oh yeah I'm just gonna have to pull down from one direction and then the only trimmer I could find in my size was a beard trimmer instead of the hair ones because I use a three millimeter it's not going to fit on the extra wide so I'm going to have to use the uh, normal uh, trimmer that was already attached to it in the package put the beard trimmer on and I'm just going to lay some pa paper down and catch the hair real quick okay I got my paper down and catch the hair so I like to just get straight to the point with these videos so here we go me. Looks like I'm going to have to adjust my camera a little bit. Sorry about that. There you go, it did uh, shave my head fairly quick, so definitely passed the test as far as that goes. Alright, so just checking it out. Did a really good job shaving my head. I'm not going to torture you and make you watch me shave my whole head. Just shaved half of it. and um, I still use a different razor for each purpose. Just like this one, it's just not as wide as a normal set of dog clippers. I still have the same $10 pair of Conair dog clippers that I use to shave my head. The 3 millimeters. So, of course, 
this one does come with a lot of different hair attachments if you don't completely shave your head like I do. So it does pass the test. So far it's passed the test for the face and the head. I just like to have a different razor for each purpose because it's just way, way faster. But if, you're, if you really want to have the all-in-one razor, so far so good. Okay, I just threw some uh, it's uh, packing paper down on the floor to catch all the hair. I just do body shaving because I do the laser hair removal. And I'm just going to use the main blade that came with it. Um, actually, just a sec, let me pop this one off and grab the... Uh, it does come with an extra wide blade that's just barely wider. But I'm going to have to use this one because... go faster. Anyways, I just recommend a set of dog clippers again. I have, still have the same $10 set of dog clippers Conair, but years ago, maybe even at a dollar store, because I just like to shave as close to the skin as possible. But, um, so I don't think this is going to beat it, but if you, again, if you wanted an all-in-one shaver, it might be worth it if it does good enough. So here we go. Try to keep it in the light there. Okay, well, let's see if I can get it in the light there. I mean, it's definitely working just like a set of dog clippers, so again, uh, there's no reason to make you watch me shave my whole body. I'll just show you why I use a different, I just use a different razor for each job. Again, I use the dog clippers for my body because you can see the difference in length, width, but uh, this one's actually pretty darn close, so this one is actually just as good as a set of dog clippers, so maybe not quite as quick, but pretty darn close, so uh, again, it passed all three tests. Uh, the face razor was a little suspect, but they usually are with these. I usually wouldn't even use the face razor. usually just stop right away. I would have used it for this one, but it's not good for thick stubble. Um, the face raise, razor, let me grab it real quick, I can see it. I think the main problem with it is it's just, you can see the difference in the width here. Right there. It's just so, so skinny, but it does shave pretty close to the face, so it's definitely doable if you want the on run razor. I recommend, I use a, a straight razor, the... Let me grab it real quick. I've been using the Gillette Exfoliating Bar Razor for my face a lot. When uh, sometimes when I want to use an electric razor, I still have my Panasonic Arc 3 laying around. It's a foil shaver. I don't like rotary shavers. I like foil shavers better. It's just really quick and it works really good. So use this or the hand razor, the Gillette Exfoliating Bar, or the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Power, I can put links to them in the description below the video. And then for my body, I just use my dog clippers to do the uh, oh, the body shaving for laser hair removal. But uh, like I said, if you just want to save money and get an all-in-one razor, I would definitely recommend the Philips Norel Co. Body Groom 7000. So far out of all the all-in-one razors I've tried, 